What's up, you guys? So we're going to open this project and that that's a problem. So you're missing sounds or samples that go to your project. You can locate sample, but what if you don't know where the sample is at? Well, there's a way to tell FL Studio to find it for you. If we go to our options tab, and file settings, any of these extra folders that are listed in here are going to be places that FL Studio will search for samples being used within your projects. So if I click this, I know exactly where my stuff is. It's actually in this folder right here. You can't see it, but if we were to go here, you can in this one. That's that same folder. So, but we don't know it's in that folder, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say it's in this music folder somewhere. So we can select that folder. And what we can do is we can then reopen that project. And voila, there is all of the sounds that it couldn't find before. And if you want to know where that file is, we can just open it here. You can drag it over to your browser and it'll open it in your browser. And now that this is showing us here where the sounds are at and what folders, we can just right click the folder in question and we can click open. And this will tell us exactly where all these sounds are at. I guess it was this folder here. Either way. And then you can just move these files wherever you might need to. And you can change this folder to either be gone or be the exact location of the sounds if you want to. These folders are going to show up in your browser. So I don't really feel like having my whole music database here in the browser because this is all my music stuff, contracts, all that kind of random stuff. So I'll remove this, but that's that's a quick and easy way to do it. You can slap your whole C drive on here. I mean, it'll probably take a while for your project to load but it's only gonna take a while once. And once it finds those files, you can drag the sample over like I showed you, find out exactly where it's at, and then we can get rid of that. Move on with our lives. So in summary, any extra folders will be searched for samples that you've used in your projects. If FL Studio can't locate samples that are used in your project, you can put a folder in there for like a wide, broad search, even something as crazy as putting in your entire C drive. Once your samples are located, drag them into the browser. It'll bring you to the exact file location. Right click that folder in the browser, click open, and it'll open the window shell menu. And then you can go back to your files and folders and remove your C drive or whatever folder you put in there from the files and folders section and you're set. If you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio and adios.